China's Chang'e 5 mission has brought back a game-changing revelation about the moon's formation. By analyzing samples collected from the lunar surface, scientists have challenged the long-standing two-stage model of the moon's crust development. Instead, they propose a continuous process that reshapes our understanding of lunar geology. How did they arrive at this groundbreaking conclusion, and why does it matter? Stay tuned as we dive into the mission, the findings, and their profound implications for our knowledge of the moon and beyond. The Chang'e 5 mission, launched by China in November 2020, marked a significant milestone in space exploration. As the first lunar sample return mission since the Soviet Union's Luna 24 in 1976, Chang'e 5 aimed to collect lunar soil and rocks from the Oceanus Procellarum region. The mission successfully brought back 1,731 grams of lunar samples, providing an unprecedented opportunity to study the Moon's surface and its history. The collected samples include both surface regolith and deeper drilled material, offering a comprehensive look at lunar geology. Scientists were particularly interested in these samples because they come from a geologically young area of the Moon, about 1.2 billion years old. This contrasts with the older samples collected by the Apollo missions, which are over 3 billion years old. The significance of the Chang'e 5 mission lies not only in the retrieval of these samples, but also in the advanced techniques used to analyze them. High resolution imaging, geochemical analysis, and thermodynamic simulations have allowed scientists to delve deeper into the Moon's past, revealing new insights into its formation and evolution. The samples contain a variety of materials, including a new mineral named Changesite Y. This mineral, along with the other components, provided a wealth of data that helped researchers to reassess the Moon's geological history. By studying these samples, scientists have been able to explore the processes that shape the lunar surface and to compare them with other celestial bodies, thereby enhancing our overall understanding of planetary science. One of the key findings from the samples is the presence of high-pressure minerals like stishovite and cefertite, which are chemically identical to quartz but have different crystalline structures. These minerals form under extreme conditions and provide clues about the Moon's impact history and the processes that have shaped its surface over billions of years. For decades, the classical magma ocean model has been the cornerstone of our understanding of the Moon's crust formation. According to this model, the Moon's crust developed in two distinct stages. The first stage involved the cooling of a global magma ocean, leading to the flotation and aggregation of plagiclase minerals, which formed the primitive lunar crust. The second stage was characterized by the overturn and melting of the mantle, resulting in the formation of magnesian sweet rocks and the reformation of the crust. Previous studies supported this two-stage model through the analysis of lunar anorthosite, a rock predominantly composed of plagioclase and magnesian sweet rocks. These studies suggested that the formation of these rocks was a sequential process, with each stage separated by a significant time gap. The traditional model posited that after the initial formation of the primitive crust, there was a period of relative geological inactivity. This was followed by a second phase of mantle melting and magmatic activity that reformed the crust, creating the magnesian sweet rocks. Despite its widespread acceptance, the classical model left several questions unanswered. For instance, the exact mechanisms driving the mantle overturn and the subsequent reformation of the crust remained unclear. Additionally, there were inconsistencies in the timing and formation processes observed in different lunar samples, which suggested that the reality might be more complex than the two-stage model could explain. These gaps in our understanding prompted scientists to look for alternative explanations. The discovery of high-pressure minerals in lunar samples, such as stishovite and cyphertite, suggested that the Moon's crust might have undergone more dynamic and continuous processes than previously thought. This led researchers to propose new models that could better explain the observed geological features and reconcile the inconsistencies in the traditional model. The two-stage model has been a useful framework for understanding the Moon's geological history, but it is now being challenged by new evidence. The recent findings from the Chang'e 5 mission have provided fresh data that supports the idea of a continuous crust formation process. 
By studying the mineral composition and structural features of the lunar samples, scientists are gaining a deeper understanding of the complex processes that have shaped the moon over billions of years. The recent study led by Wang Shui Jiang and his team from the China University of Geosciences Beijing has turned the traditional model of lunar crust formation on its head. By analyzing a melt body found within an anorthosite fragment from the Chang'e 5 samples, the researchers discovered that lunar anorthosite and magnesian sweet rocks likely formed simultaneously. This finding suggests that the two-stage model may be incorrect, and instead, the formation of the lunar crust could be a continuous process. The team employed advanced geochemical and thermodynamic simulations to investigate the melt body, which indicated that the parent magma of the magnesian sweet rocks originated from the lunar upper mantle. This analysis revealed that gravitational instabilities during the cooling of the lunar magma ocean triggered small-scale in situ overturns in the upper mantle. These smaller overturns were followed by larger-scale mantle overturns and decompression melting of the lower mantle. This continuous process seamlessly linked the formation of the primitive crust with its subsequent reformation. This discovery is groundbreaking because it provides direct evidence that challenges the long-held two-stage model. By showing that the formation of lunar anorthosite and magnesian sweet rocks occurred simultaneously, the study offers a more cohesive explanation of the observed geological features in the lunar samples. It fills in the gaps left by the traditional model, which struggled to explain the simultaneous presence of these different rock types. The implications of this study extend beyond lunar science. It potentially influences our understanding of planetary formation and evolution throughout the solar system. The findings suggest that other celestial bodies might also undergo similar continuous processes rather than distinct stages of crust formation. This could prompt a re-evaluation of the geological histories of other planets and moons. The presence of high-pressure minerals like stishovite and cyphertite in the Chang'e 5 samples played a crucial role in this new understanding. These minerals, formed under extreme conditions, indicate that the moon's crust experienced significant dynamic processes. The study highlighted that the parent magma of the magnesian sweet rocks was sourced from the upper mantle, providing insights into the internal processes of the moon. This discovery suggests a more active and complex lunar mantle than previously thought. Furthermore, the findings imply that gravitational instabilities during the cooling of the magma ocean were more complex than previously understood. The small-scale in situ overturns and large-scale mantle overturns contributed to a continuous formation process rather than distinct stages. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking findings from the Chang'e emission that challenged the traditional two-stage model of lunar crust formation. We explored the mission's objectives, the classical model, and the new continuous process proposed by recent studies. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.